Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. We are doing a reaction video today, so should we just get straight into it? You know how this goes. <laughs> I'm Robert, please consider subscribing. I'm a professional makeup artist. Let's go. I just had to jump in here very quickly and interrupt myself and thank today's sponsor, and that is Skillshare. For those of you who aren't familiar already, Skillshare is an online community with thousands and thousands of online classes ran by really inspirational, really knowledgeable people. Now, if you're anything like me and you love learning new things and you're a little bit impatient when it comes to, you know, becoming skilled at something or you just want to brush up on something that you already have skills in, you want to be better at this, you can do better at this, then Skillshare is going to be absolutely perfect for you. For those of you who know, some of you may know already, I read ghost stories on Monday on, here on my channel that my subscribers send in to me. And I read them and I kind of read like this, like it's okay. But I was like, there has to be some kind of class on how to make things a little bit more exciting when it comes to storytelling. And of course there was it being Skillshare. So I have been doing, I have to read the title because it's a long name, learn the skill of voice acting and voiceover and master the art of reading aloud which is what I do. And it's run by Selena Greenside, who has been an elocution teacher since 1994. That's a long time to be doing something. And let me tell you, there's things in there you don't even think about because we just speak, right? But it's really got me thinking about the way I pronounce things, which I, I kind of do bad anyway. Uh, but you know, the highs and lows in your voice. So it's been something a little bit different to do in my spare time, you know, rather than just sitting around watching TV or playing The Sims and building a house for five hours and then not playing it again for a month. So if learning a new skill or even brushing up on an old one sounds like something you would be interested in, then Skillshare is gonna be incredible. So here's the deal. The first 1,000 people to use the link or code down below in the description box will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So you can start learning something new today. Thank you so much again to Skillshare. And now back to myself. Okay, now, obviously this video was made just to be funny, I'm hoping, you know, for entertainment reasons, but let's look at it from if this is like, does this work kind of point of view, because that's what a lot of people tag me like, would this work, should I do this? One, those masks, as smooth as they go on, as tight as they go on, sometimes they miss a pore and you get that texture, you can see around her jawline it has that texture, it's stopping. I'm assuming there's a heavy filter on this one with a beauty filters all the way up, because it would not be that smooth. Also, movement in the face, you saw when she tried to blot her lip together, you can actually move her face. It may last a long time, your foundation will last forever. Like, if somebody could get that down and make like a slip on the whole face, your oils and things like that aren't gonna be able to physically interfere with your makeup. So it lasts a very long time. But if we look at the color as well, you can almost see it has this gray, almost greeny gray tone to it. Because trying to cover black, you would have to color correct that first. You'll have to block it, sorry, color block it with red. Like people do with eyebrows, like we do with five o'clock shadow, you'd have to color block it and then go on top of your color and maybe do some more color correction. You can't just go on top of black with a heavy, heavy foundation and hope it works because it's always gonna show through. Um, so no, that wouldn't quite work <laughs> the way it's shown there. It's a, it's a fun thing to try. Maybe one of the clear ones because you can get those masks that are clear and um, see how smooth you can get it. That would be interesting to see. Okay, let's see what's next. How to turn your favorite eyeshadows into a shadow stick using a lip balm. Just go like that. Check out how beautiful and how easy this is. And done. 
we did this already, right? We did this a few years ago and we all figured out it didn't last very long. It looks good on the eyelid. It looks beautiful. It looks like this metallic kind of shine. But we all know that if you put something too greasy, not greasy, balmy on the lids or even glossy, it's going to look amazing, but it's going to last you a few minutes. I actually did an, um, an experiment with it in a reaction video the first time we did this. Um, I'll put that on the screen here and I'll link it below so you can see it. But it doesn't last a long time at all. It's gonna crease. So it could look cool with like a black eyeshadow or a dark one because creases can look quite nice, a little bit edgy, you know? Um, but I wouldn't recommend it in terms of longevity. If you want that effect, just use that eyeshadow. <laughs> Maybe with a wet brush, scrape some out and use it with a damp brush because then it will set as well. But I wouldn't recommend it. It works how she used it just then, absolutely. Would it last a long time on the lid? Not necessarily, it will crease. This is the best eyebrow hack ever. A tiny bit of non-latex eyelash glue as brow gel will be the most full-on heavy duty brow gel ever. However, this is some Gorilla Glue shit. You need to work really fast. <laughs> like you have about five seconds before it starts to set and you can have a big old mess on your hands with little white dots all through your brows. It's gonna look like you have lice or something. So work really fast. But check this out, it's not moving. <laughs> Set it with a bit of powder so it's not tacky. Then you just go ahead and fill in your eyebrows if you feel like you need it. <laughs> These eyebrows are not going anywhere. <laughs> a lot of makeup artists and celebrities use this hack for special events, or if you're going somewhere really windy, I guess. Absolutely that. It does work, it 100% works. And you can get some lash glues which dry like very, very clear. But like exactly like what she said in that video, you have minimal, minimal time to work with it and brush it through. Otherwise the glue will start to dry and start to roll um, and you get loads of white bits for your brows. So yes, it does work, but oh my God, work in sections a tiny bit at a time. Map out how you're gonna brush it first, get the exact shape that you want remember it, remember the motions and the actions that you use, then go in with the smallest amount of glue at a time, do the front bit first, sort it, do the middle bit, do it bit by bit, because it is not budging, it is not moving, and it will stay put, and you don't want to play with it too much. One or two brush strokes at best, and a tiny bit, otherwise you'll have it above your brow, it'll be all around your skin. There's no taking your time with this one, you need to get it done. However, there are so many brow products that hold even my eyebrows, but of a thickest, outrageous brows. There are so many out there, you don't need to resort to that kind of thing just yet. Yeah, no. Because I don't know who invented this like backwards nose contour thing, but we can see right there. Can you see the grayness on the side of a nose? Putting something lighter on top of something dark is gonna give the impression of grayness, dullness, no matter what pitch or gray it isn't doesn't it doesn't look good <laughs> there's also no reason to really do that in terms of contouring contour like normal is absolutely fine it is it doesn't give quite the effect that people um, are making it out that it gives it just looks great it just looks it looks terrible doing my makeup for free until i get caught Take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. I've been hanging by myself, asking for help. Yeah, you, you always make me feel like I'm you never leave my I'm assuming that was a job, an advert for Superdrug, because it's on their page, but also the NYX powder wasn't open. It had the plastic rim around it still, and he opened it and used it. So I am assuming 
that was set up. However, if this was true to life, the amount of times the tips of those applications touch his skin is so unhygienic and so disgusting. Do not do this. Do not go into places and pit for your own safety and other people's. Do not touch products to your skin, the applicators to your skin, especially lips, especially eyes. It doesn't matter if you use your finger. Somebody probably put something in their mouth. I've seen people use testers in crazy ways. It's so gross. Guys, we just had a worldwide pandemic. Have we not learned anything? Like, stop. <laughs> this trend is fucking stupid. I'm gonna leave you with that like that. Use an illuminator. What? Add some concealer and buff it out like you normally would. <gasps> Give it a good setting. Yeah, no what way. you're left with is a really bright under- <sighs> I've gotta try this. So let's put the liquid highlighter. Oh, I'm not sure how much. Blend it out. Ooh. Here's how it looks so far. Adding my concealer. Blending it out. <gasps> okay. Set it. Okay, I don't want to get too excited, so let me do the other side without the highlight. Conceal. Then set. So here's the end result. This is the side with the highlight. This is the side without the highlight. To be honest, I don't really see much difference. I don't know if it's just me. Maybe I did it wrong. Maybe I need to try it again. But what do you guys think? Layering products like that, there's no real way to get it wrong. What she did was fine. However, there's no difference because if you're going to use a product with an effect, right? And then put heavy concealer on top. Now you're completely blocking out that effect and then you're mattifying it with a powder you've completely gone over it, so there's no point. It's like me drawing a heart on my cheek and covering it with foundation going, I can't see the heart, you know? So it, it's, she didn't do it wrong, absolutely not. You, what you did was like, you're fine. But to actually get the effect from the illuminator, mix it in with your concealer. And cause then you'll get a mixture of that effect. It won't be as intense as maybe you would like it, but, and also I wouldn't actually suggest like doing that with highlights around the eyes. And here's my reason. Let's take my eyes as an example. If I was to highlight just this hollow here, it would really accentuate the fact, although it's a highlighter, that I have like this hollowed out space here. You know what I mean? It will make it really obvious. So you would have to bring it all the way down if that was to work. A highlight, although it's nice and bright, it can also accentuate those darker areas. <laughs> match people very often, that isn't the shade I would end up with for that particular individual. The reason that doesn't work is because we're not looking at undertone that right there, right? We're looking at potential like colors you can see on the face straight up, redness in the cheeks, um, highlight, shadow, lighting, that it, it doesn't quite sit right. You can't, uh, that's not. <laughs> uh, I thought gone were the days where I just sit and complain, but that that doesn't quite work. Reason being, surface color is different to undertone majority of the time, and shadows and lights in different areas as well. The camera, our cameras don't quite pick up how our skin is in real life. If she was to use that shade in her skin, it's it's that was just slightly too dark. That's not her shade, right? So that that doesn't quite work in in terms of um the way she was using it herself. Okay, <laughs> that was a really quick one this time around. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Please do consider subscribing and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.